Hello all, welcome to the lecture series of Power System Protection. In the previous session, I have discussed current settings. Have you watched my previous video? If not, kindly go through first. Later you can come back to time settings. So all are connected actually. So that's why I recommend you to watch uh, the current settings first. So that you will get a better idea uh, regarding the time settings. This is also one of the important settings uh, for a protective relay. Before starting the video, I request everyone to subscribe my channel and kindly share the video for those who are preparing uh, different examination and uh, B or beta courses. Moving on to the discussion, what is the importance of time settings? Anyway, the operating time, the actual operating time of the relay is quite important. That is pretty clear. So, the time setting multiplier or somebody will call it as time multiplier setting that de decides the actual operating time of the relay. A relay is generally provided with control to adjust the time of operation of the relay. True. Uh, this adjustment is known as time multiplier setting or you can call it as time setting multiplier. The abbreviation is TSM. So, it is applicable for both numerical relay and electromechanical relay. There is no doubt in that. And in case of electromechanical relay, there is an aluminium disc just like an energy meter. Have you seen energy meter? Yeah. If you have seen the energy meter in olden days, there will be a rotating disc. Likewise, there is a rotating disc in your uh, electromechanical relay. That is not present in the numerical relay. That is the difference. So, you can able to see there is a dial. It is made up of aluminium. Okay. And uh, here also you can see these are the different picture I have collected for your information. So this is your time setting dial. So this part is very important for time setting. How it is going to revolution? How it makes the revolution? Okay, those things uh, I'll be I'll be making a separate video regarding this, and uh, regarding the lab prototype settings I'll be showing you that, so that you will get a more information in the coming days I am going to up upload. Okay, I'll be uploading soon. The dial is nothing but rotating disc made up of aluminium which rotates when the fault current in the relay coil reaches the pickup current so that, that is why i told you that both are connected the total relay operating time how do you calculate the total relay operating time yeah we can compute it first of all we should know the time multiplier setting or tsm later we need to know plug setting multiplier time which is available in the relay itself if you multiply both you will be getting total operating time of the relay Okay, or actual operating time of the relay we will be getting. So, the, that is the importance of time setting multiplier. You know, time uh, setting is very essential. When it is going to operate, so time setting multiplier and pickup current both are correlated each other. Now, let us familiar some uh, examples. So, consider the case. You need to assume that plug setting of the relay is 5. Assume that TSM is equal to 0.5. This can be set. You need to set it at the beginning. If you are taking electromechanical relay or a numerical relay, you need to set PS. Plug setting you have to set. Electromechanical relay means there is a nail like structure will be there. That you can able to insert. TSM also you can able to adjust. It. So there is a dial. By using the dial you can able to adjust it, TSM. For finding the actual time of operation of relay, we need to refer the graph between operating time and PSM. So you should know what is PSM. That's why I told you that before watching this video, you can refer my previous class so that you will understand. So PSM decides, PSM is nothing but a plug setting multiplier. It decides the severity of the fault. So PSM and the operating time is inversely proportional. Okay. Now first what you are supposed to do is PS has to be set it as 5. TSM also you can able to set as 0.5. Our ultimate goal is to calculate the actual operating time of the relay. For calculating actual operating time of the relay, you need to consider the graph between operating time versus PSM. Correct? Then corresponding PSM, you can able to identify the operating time. Okay, let us continue. For example, you need to consider an example. Everybody please read the example. We are using a current transformer of the in the ratio of 100 bar 1 ampere. Then fault current of 5000 5, ampere is flowing through the network protected by the relay. Full stop. Assume that current setting or the position of the plug is 5, that PS equal to 5. First you compute the PSM because our ultimate goal is to calculate the actual operating time. Clear? Actual operating time is need to be computed. That is our ultimate target. Now first let us compute the PSM. So 
So PSM means, so what is PSM? So PSM, you please recall the equation. PSM is equal to, I would like, I wouldn't like to write the equation. I can tell you orally. Fault current divided by percentage current setting into CT ratio. What is the fault current here? Fault current is nothing but 5000 amps. Yes. Am I right or not? Okay. Divided by, uh, now percentage current setting. You can call it as a PS. PS will be 5 only. What is the CT ratio? CT ratio will be 100 by 1. 100 by 1 is nothing but 100 only. So 0 and 0 is getting cancelled. Now this will be 10. Correct 1 0. It is equal to 10. So I have got the value of PSM is equal to 10. If I know the value of PSM, then obviously I will be getting uh, operating time. So let us go back to the previous graph. Note down the value. PSM is equal to 10. Now let us, uh, mar uh, let us consider the graph. In this graph, what did you understand? So uh, whenever PSM is equal to 10, look at this. What is the operating time? Operate almost 3, right? 3 seconds. So operating time I have got that is equal to 3 seconds. It is pretty clear. Please refer it carefully. Yeah. Operating time will be how much? It will be operating time will be 3 only. In this graph it is uh, explaining very much clearly. Look at very clear, care, carefully at 10. Uh, so extrapolate the particular point. This point will be at 3 seconds. Operating time will be obviously 3 seconds. Now let us come to the point. Uh, so PSM I have got it as 10. But the time setting multiplier I already set it as 0 0.5 0.5 seconds that's my choice therefore I, my ultimate goal is to compute actual operating time so how to calculate the actual operating time what is the equation so please recall the equation kindly note on this the actual operating time is equal to plug setting multiplier time into time setting multiplier so actual operating time is equal to look at this uh, that is three seconds the three seconds is PSM corresponding PSM you have computed a time right Yes or no? Corresponding PSM, you have computed a time that is equal to 3 seconds. Just I explain the equation. Now you have to multiply our choice seconds. You can able to set by using the dial. If you multiply both, I will be getting the right answer. The actual operation of the relay will be 1.5 seconds. So this is the way how to solve the problem. So what I did is, TSM, it is a permanent setting. You can, as a user, you can do that, TSM. Thereafter, PS is also your choice. We will be setting as 5. CT ratio available in the question, uh, then fall current is also given. First you compute the PSM. Corresponding PSM you need to calculate the operating time. Once you get the operating time, you can able to calculate e uh, the actual operation of relay very, will, uh, can calculate very easily. That is equal to uh, the time corresponding to PSM should be multiplied with the time setting multiplier. Then you are able to get the actual operation of the relay. That is equal to 1.5 seconds. Likewise, there is one more numerical example. I request everyone to solve this problem once. Then your answer you can able to put up in the comment box. If you are not understanding, I have already solved. But uh, again, I would like to so uh, solve and show it to you. If you are having uh, any confusion regarding how to solve this. Uh, so please uh, put a comment in your in, in my comment box. You can I can definitely reply back. I can give the answer also. In that comment box only I will type and put up the answer. So kindly work out. I, I wanted to know whether you are un, whether you are following uh, whatever I explained or not. Just for uh, the for my information, for getting the feedback, kindly solve this and please do let me know whether the what is the answer, what is the actual operating time of the particular relay. So please work out. Then definitely you will get an idea. Uh, let me conclude the session. In this way, this is my reference actually. In this video, I have discussed about what do we mean by uh, time settings, time setting. In that time setting, you need to understand one terminology that is called a TSM. Okay, TSM. Then, uh, how then how to calculate the actual time? So, you can use the formula. The total operating time is equal to plug setting multiplier time. Uh, the time corresponding to PSM should be multiplied with the TSM. Then you are able to get the total operating time of the relay. So, these are the things which I discussed in this session. Later, I have solved uh, one numerical example. Definitely that will help you to understand what is the exact meaning of uh, calculation of actual operating time of the relay. One, one more numerical example, I just put it as a practice, practice question. Hope you will work out and let me know the answer. I am waiting for your comment. If you are having any queries, please do let me know. Finally, thank you very much for your support. Have a great day.